Hi everyone, these two colors part is printed on a single extruder 3D printer. Let me show how I did it. Oh and uh, please subscribe. I've used SOLIDWORKS to design the part, but you can use whatever CAD program you want. The principle is the same. What I've did is to create an extruded cut, one layer height deep, for the parts I want to have printed in a different color. Then I've used the same sketch for the cut to create a boss extrude, one layer height thick. After this, I've selected only the boss extrude and I've saved it as a .stl file to later be opened with Cura. Very important at this message is to choose selected bodies instead of all bodies. This way only the lettering will be saved. Let me show you. If I open this file with Cura, you'll see it's only the letters. Just like that. Let's go back to SOLIDWORKS. Now we have to save the rest of the part but without the letters. And the easiest way to do it is to delete the boss extrude. Just like that. Now we are left with one part which has the perfect indentation to fit the letters that we've already saved. We have to save it as well as an STL file and I will name it too. Now we go to Cura to the first part, the letters, and we have to rotate it to make it lay flat on the printing surface. Then we open Cura for the second part and we rotate it and snap it to the printing surface. As you can see both parts are flat but they don't align. What we can do is to right click both parts and choose to center them. However, if we zoom in you can see that this option doesn't align them perfectly. Because of this we have to align them manually. So I choose the move tool and move the letters around until the spacing around them looks even. Perfect, just like that. When you don't see the contour anymore, they are properly aligned. Next, we right click the outer part and without moving anything, we select delete. This way we are only left with the letters. Then I will print it at the normal quality with the 0.15 mm layer height. What I will select is also to avoid the printed parts when traveling, which actually is more important for the next part than for this one. What is very important is to go in the menu build plate edition and in the build plate edition type to select none. Then we save the document as a G code and gave a name that will remind us that this will be the first printed part. We go back in Cura and hit the keys Ctrl and Z. This undoes the delete operation we previously did and makes the larger part reappear. Now we right click on the letters and delete them. We leave the slicing parameters the same as before and we save the file as something that will remind us this is the second part to be printed. Let me show you the G code files that will be printed. Actually, the second one is more interesting. As you can see, the first layer is printed around the letters. Imagine that the blank space here is already printed in another color. And then the second layer just comes and covers everything and fuses the two colors. And here is the letters already printed. Yeah, I know I have to clean the glue from the printing bed, but uh, I'm too lazy. And after the letters are printed, we change the filament to the color that we want and print the second part on top of the first one. And this is the second layer being printed.
And finally, the finished part. By the way, this is printed in the cheapest PLA from Amazon. Looks quite nice in my opinion and the colors are well fused together in a single part. And this is the final uh, component which I've shown you how I made in my last video. Which you can find in the upper left corner or in the description below. And this is the same principle but applied in a much bigger scale. This is a portable display I've made in a previous video by the way. Also click on the card in the upper corner as well for this video. So if you like this video please hit the like button and share it with your grandma. And also please subscribe and also please subscribe and also please subscribe and also please subscribe. Bye.